going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time to do it. Today, CNH Mining has a great end for this. <laughs> Today, CNH Mining updates us on the progress of the Outlaw. Weibo Mining have new screenshots of the International 46. Ada Mining's got a new Gawil mod. Agri Mods updates us on the JF progress and a new mod. LR Mining's working on a Case Ripper. Stoneway Designs has some more signs for you. Plus, Jabba is making his factories work with seasons, and it's big. Let's check it out. Starting off today, and CNH Mining updates us on the progress on his Outlaw semi truck. He says, Don't worry, the Outlaw is still being worked on right now. They did run into a few problems with it. They need to fix the collision problem and they also have to fix and change a few engine sounds they say now with that being said once the problems are fixed they will update everyone they do say thanks for understanding they also say please don't message us or anything like that as with any modder by the way please don't bug them uh they say don't worry they will update you as soon as progress is made yesterday we showed off some in-game footage of white bull mining's international 46 series well today they say it's almost finished and hey do you want some more screenshots yes yes i want like 30 more screenshots yo <laughs> I want it to so bad. Also yesterday, Ada Mining teased a Gwil logo, saying new project coming soon from Gwil brand. Can anyone guess what it was? He says, hint, it's an animal feed. And today we have it. Here it is. He says, the Gwil RBA feed mixer from Black Sheep Mining, who kindly gave him permission to bring it back to Farming Simulator 19. He says, still a decent bit left to do and still got to finish up the UDIM and make all new spec maps for it. So it works great and looks great as well in Farm Sim 19. He says, but then the end game process will be there's also modding still goes on, even though it's birthday. It never stops. Wait, is today your birthday? Yo, happy birthday, dude! Agri Mods updates us today on their J-Op saying that it did fail testing, but don't worry, they have fixed it and sent it back to Mod Hub. While testing isn't finished, they're already working on their newest project, the Lizard Titan 10,000. This is a lizard farm wagon. We'll have several different options and say it'll make the game even more fun. LR Modding has a new project they announced today, a new case implement, the True Tandem 335VT Vertical Tillage 34. It is unsure if this mod is being made for all platforms or just for PC and Mac only, so make sure you guys stay tuned. We'll keep you updated once we have more information. Stoneway Designs have sent off their newest project to Giants for testing, they say, the Brand Yard Signs. Features 15 different brands. They say since you liked all the flags and billboards so much, here you go. Here you can see brands like JCB, John Deere, Lizard, you also have Massey Ferguson, New Holland, Pioneer Seeds, Ursus, Wilson Trailers, Agco, Big Bud, Brent, Case IH, Challenger, Fent, and Great Plains. And lastly today, we have tons of new information from Shaba. He says, factories with seasons. After many tests during the last few days, seasons factories are going to be a reality. But in the view of complexity of the operation of the animals and the consumption of food, you will have with this mod, they're going to have to make major changes to the factory of Shamburg Valley and also have them as placeables on the mod hub. They do say factories of TMR and pig food are going to produce as pallets as he's unable to make them work properly with bulk feed. Says considering this, the changes are follows. Factories without seasons for the uh, factories and seed factories. You've got the whole structure of which will be changed and they will need diesel for production. They do say all adapted maps will need to be updated. Factories will have to be purchased again because these will be completely different. Pretty much sure it will be posted all at the same time. So all these updates should post around the same time. They do say uh, placeable factory updates. The updates on adapt or updated maps, just his maps. And others will depend on the mapper of those maps as well. As far as Shamburg Valley goes, the geo to use with factories um, and the factory operization. Operization? I didn't even say that word right. He says he will be reporting more details. Probably have something left behind, but he'll let us know once all that is. He says, of course, this will lead to the PC version of Shamburg Valley, taking a little longer to be finished, but that is totally okay. But you know what's not okay? Me continuing to do terrible segues to the outro. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Oh, yeah, and uh, Let's Play's return today. Look forward to that. All being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later.
You know, it's one thing to record videos in the studio by yourself. It's another to do it when somebody's trying to dance.